Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this session, we'll be discussing about two-way data binding in LWC. I hope you remember our last session wherein we discussed about data binding in LWC and how we can achieve one-way data binding in LWC, right? So before we start, let's just uh, go through the definition again. You should understand the difference between uh, one-way data binding and two-way data binding before we get started on this. So if you remember, uh, what a one-way data binding was, right? That was a situation wherein your information basically flows in only in one direction, right? So the last example that we did, wherein we had declared a property in JavaScript file, and we were displaying that value in our template file, right? So that means the information was flowing from the JS class to the template, right? So that was one-way data binding, right? Now we are going to see how two-way data binding can be achieved in LWC. So before we proceed with that, uh, I would like to uh, tell you again, like, you know, what a two-way data binding is. It will basically help you exchange data from the JS controller to the template and also from the template to the controller. Basically, it will help you to establish communication bidirectionally, unlike one-way data binding, okay? Now, the biggest question is how to achieve two-way data binding in LWC, okay? So I know that you guys might not be aware of the decorators that we have in LWC, but LWC programming model uh, has given us some decorators that basically adds few extra functionalities to a pro property or a function, right? That we define in our in our JS controller. So for example, one of the one of the decorators is at the rate track. Okay. Don't worry about it, just like you know, uh, try to grasp whatever I'm saying and we'll go ahead and do an example so you'll understand better. Okay. So basically, at the rate, at the rate track is the decorator that will help us to track a private property value and it will help us to re-render a component when it changes. So, what did I mean by that? Is let's say if in your JS controller file, right? Let's say if you define a property if you remember from the from the last example we had declared a property called full name right so we had not preceded it with any decorator let's say if i start defining a property with at the rate track space and then full name is equals to and let's say if i assign some value to it right and let's say if i don't don't assign any initial value to it right so the moment when i uh, proceed a property with at the rate track it makes it uh, reactive right it makes it reactive and it also it also help helps us to re-render the component when the value of this particular property will change okay so let's just start with an example and you will understand better right what 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 track is doing for us okay so i'll just go ahead and i'll create a lwc component here and let's just give it a name as two-way data binding example two-way Finding demo. Okay. And so if you guys remember, it will create three files, right? One would be the HTML, the next would be JS file, and then we'll have the configuration file. Okay. So as I said, right, as I said, let's just go ahead and create a property in our JS file. Okay. So what I will do is I will go ahead and let, let me just create the property full name. Uh, and then uh, I'm not assigning any value to it. But what I want to do is that like, you know, whatever, if if user, like, you know, if from the UI, if from the template, uh, this value is getting changed, right? I want to keep a track of the new value. I want to, I want to, uh, I want to be able to have the access to the new value, right? I want to re-render my component when this particular value changes. So what will I do? As I told you, right, that track will help us doing that. So this is one of the decorators that is provided by um, LWC module, okay? So there's another thing, the moment you use any decorator, right, you also have to import it. So I will just go ahead and import this decorator over here, okay? So here, okay? Okay, now, uh, what will I do? I will go to HTML first. And what I want to basically achieve is I will be creating an input box, okay? Wherein uh, from the UI, a user will be able to enter his name. And every time the user changes that value, right? Whatever value he keeps on changing, I want to display the new value that he has entered, right? So what, what is happening here? 
so every time if there is anything which is which template is receiving right we are passing that value to the js file right and getting that value back to the template and displaying it correct so that is basically this is the information is flowing bidirectionally so let's just go ahead and create a uh, lightning input box first so So here would be my lightning input box. Okay. And in my lightning input box, I would be giving the parameters and that would be, yeah, that would be, uh, let's see name, it should be full name. And then I'll, let's say, let's give it a label, okay and enter your name okay and then we have to give on change event right because the two-way binding will not happen automatically right you have to you have to uh, like you know uh, use events in order to pass information right and that is how you will receive the uh, new value in your js file okay using this event so here i will be defining a function name basically okay handle change and that's it okay so this will be this will create an input box for me right and whatever name you will enter here that value will be passed to basically this function right so this event right and you have to handle this event in your javascript controller file and then whatever the new value that you'll be giving from the uh, that you'll be getting from this input box that you can store into your tracked property and then you can pass it back to the HTML file to display it. Okay. So let's just go ahead and uh, get this value. So here. Okay. So now my property is this right full name. And what I want to do is I want to store any new updated value, right? So, and from where I will be getting the new updated value from the event, right? So I would define it as event dot target dot value, okay? So now what will happen, right? The moment user enters any new value into this, right? This event will help us getting that new value in our JS controller. And in our JS controller, what we are doing is we are assigning this value to this particular property, right? Now, this particular property should always have the new value. It will help the component to re-render and like, you know, show us the new updated value, right? So what we'll do is now we'll just go ahead and display this value, okay? So let's say here, uh, let me display this value. Okay, and how do we display the value is using this, right? So full name and let's just go ahead and okay, the meta file, we have to correct the meta file as well because I'll be including this component on, <clears throat> on a record page. So target and let's say record page, save and let me just go ahead and deploy this. So this is deployed. Now let's just go to the Salesforce org and include this particular component into our record page and see how it behaves. Okay, so let's just, what was the name of the component? Two-way data binding. So two-way data binding, okay. So let me include this component here. And just to let me remove this one. Okay, and save. And I'll go back. Okay, so this is my input box. If let's let's go back to the component and compare, right? So on my HTML, what 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 and all I had, I had an input box, right? And that is what it is showing me. The label was enter your name, right? So it is showing me enter your name and then the input box, right? So now what should happen? The moment I, I type in anything here, right? That value should be displayed, right? Because I'm displaying that value and how that, that will be displayed with the help of this event on JS file, we are storing this value, okay? And because of this decorator, this is going to retain the new value, right? Whatever is provided 
by the user right it will help the component to re-render and show the new value okay so let's just go ahead and try this out so if i type in as see whatever value i'll type right it's going to show me that value so basically the information is passing from the html to js and from the js to html right that is bi-directional information passing right that is nothing but two-way data binding okay so i hope that you understood what a two-way data binding is in lwc in our next session we'll talk about uh, conditional rendering in lwc and uh, i hope you watch the next session as well stay tuned bye bye